In this lesson, I'll show you how to construct orthonormal sets. The question reads, consider the set of vectors shown below. Notice that each of these vectors has an x, y, and z component. Show that the vectors form an orthonormal set in R3 with the Euclidean inner product. So to show that all of these are orthonormal, we have to find the inner product of the vector u sub 1 and u sub 2 and show that it is equal to 0. Also u sub 1, u sub 3, show that it is equal to 0. u sub 2 and u sub 3, its inner product is equal to 0. So let's start with the very first one. 1 to find the inner product of these. Just let me be extra clear. We take 1 times negative 1 plus 1 times 1. We're taking each component at a time and finding its product and then taking the sum. Lastly, 0 times 0 is 0. That becomes negative 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. So we just proved that that is orthogonal. That is, they exist at right angle to each other. That's what orthogonal means. Over here, let's do the same thing. So this time it's u sub 1 and u sub 3. 1 times 0 is 0. Again, 1 times 0 is 0. And 0 times 1 is 0. So that is equal to 0. Another proof. And lastly, let's find the inner product of u sub 2 and u sub 3. We have negative 1 times 0, 0. Again, 0. And again, 0. So another easy proof, that is equal to zero. So all three of these are in fact orthogonal. Now we have to construct an orthonormal set from these vectors. For this, we have to find the norm of each of these. The norm is the geometric length of a vector. And we found out in the previous set lessons to find the norm, it's like finding the inner product of the vector itself. So that's a 1, comma, 1, again. We need to find the inner product of that. Then raise it to the power of half. So let's go ahead and do that. 1 times 1 plus 1 times 1 plus 0 times 0, which is 0. That's equal to 2 square root of that. We just found the norm of u sub 1. To find the norm of this guy, we do the same thing, but for this vector, of course negative 1 times negative 1 plus 1 times 1 plus 0 times 0. That's again equal to the square root of 2. Don't forget that we are raising this to the power of half or square rooting, same thing. And lastly, if we want to find the norm of vector 3, we will end up with 1. I'm not showing you the work anymore because you can kind of do it yourself. You end up with the square root of 1, which is 1. Now to construct this orthonormal set, we gather up this information, and we actually find the unit vector for each of these. So, so let's start with this one. We will take the square root of 2, and to find the unit vector of a vector, you take each of its components and divide it by the norm. 1 over the square root of 2. 1 over the square root of 2 and 0 over the square root of 2, which becomes 0. That's the first of three components within the orthonormal set. Let's call it S. Let's call this set S. That's the very first component. Now we find the unit vector for the second vector. So this time I take negative 1 and divide it by the square root of 2, because that was the norm. 1 over the square root of 2, and 0 over the square root of 2 again is 0. And the last element in this set will be this one. 0 divided by 1, that 1 right there, it's 0. 0 divided by 1 is 0, and 1 divided by 1 is 1. So what you see s is equal to is called the orthonormal set for these vectors. And 
remind you that you can only do this if you've proven these three. So there you have it. That is how to construct orthonormal sets.